Hello everyone and thank you to Nick for putting this up on his channel. The reason I'm talking to you now is because I want you to check out a short film that I recently made that focuses on the Srebrenica genocide. Of course, this year is 2015 and we're approaching 20 years since the biggest case of mass murder in Europe since the Holocaust. That is when, over the course of about 10 days, over 8,000 Bosnian Muslims were killed around Srebrenica after the town was overrun by the Bosnian Serb army. Now the reason I made this documentary was to see firsthand how the genocide is being acknowledged not even two decades since it happened. And this is made quite interesting because this area where the Bosnian Muslims were slaughtered is now controlled by Bosnian Serbs. And there tends to be very different perspectives about what actually happened during the war, especially in this area. And there are Bosnian Serbs who deny that genocide was committed against the Bosnian Muslim population. So when I travelled to Srebrenica, I visited places where some of the most shocking crimes were committed against the Muslims. And when I saw how these places were being preserved, or more so not preserved, I was simply you know, lost for words. A common phrase or message after what happened there is, don't forget Srebrenica. But it seems like in some places it is being forgotten or at least ignored. To know what I'm talking about, you really just have to see the video. And if you think this is something that people should know about, I strongly encourage you to share it with others. Thanks everyone. The Dutch soldiers and the United Nations had the task from the mandate to protect the people of Srebrenica, and they didn't do it. Warrant officer Wim Dijkema belonged to that Dutch battalion, which was sent to Srebrenica to stop an attack on the town. We came there with a will to do as much as we could do, but we failed. Srebrenica, 20 years on, by Rusty Wojcik.